Now, with all this going on, life has looked a lot different in the past week in Midland, Odessa, with people being encouraged to self-distance. That has the potential to really hurt our local businesses. We found local restaurants are making adjustments to keep their doors open and also perhaps give people some peace of mind. We're anxious to see what tonight brings, but again, we're trying to make sure that folks are able to get out and enjoy themselves. Anxious because today is the first day that Bean and Grape offered a to-go service for the foreseeable future due to a city mandate that prohibits gatherings of 50 or more people. We're, we're not sure if this thing is, is uh, going to be uh, supportive of our business model, but uh, our chef, uh, John Vandergriff, came out and he was very adamant of talking to me when I got back from my own spring break, and he told me, you know, we need to find something here. And while Ray Blanchard believes that his business would be able to support itself for a couple of weeks if it had to be shut down, his bigger concern is with his employees. You know, our employees do rely on tips, and that's something we can't cover outside of our normal uh, payroll costs. If these small businesses are unable to generate revenue, the consequences could be severe. If we don't come up with creative ways to bring in some cash flow to support our payroll, to support our patrons, we're going to be out of business, and that would be a detriment to the community. And for businesses that are closing down, Blanchard says it's time to think outside of the box. I'd recommend other businesses to find alternative, creative ways to come up with revenue right now. We need to do everything as a small business community to really focus on generating revenue in a time like this. In Midland, Jonathan Pulasic, News West 9. Jonathan, thank you. To continue serving the community, Bean and Grape will take to-go orders until 10 a.m. with pickup starting at 4. I know a lot of other businesses are doing something similar. They're their own style of still serving our community. Just search for them on, our, um, on Facebook, and also we'll work to put some of those businesses up on our website, too.